All right, everybody, Brian Engelman here at NAM Show 2017, Anaheim, California. We're in Taylor, and the Taylor room is looking good this year. A lot, I mean, by the way, I know we, we, we just kind of skipped it. I'm here with, with John Bergman. We're going to get to him in a second. But I just wanted to point out the really cool colors on that guitar. I want to st let's start here like we sure, planned. Absolutely. But I have got to go find out about that one. I like let's it. John, thanks for spending absolutely. a little bit of time. Yeah, pleasure having All right, so here. what do we got? Well, we're really happy about all the stuff we're doing this year for 2017. Uh, main thing is we want to take a look at a couple guitars over here. So we have two hot popular items. We're going to have the GS Mini Bass and we have our Academy Series is what we're doing. So let me show you the GS Mini Bass first. So as you know, we've sold about 250,000 of our popular GS Mini models and now we're offering it in a bass version. So nice travel size bass for somebody that's going out big amplified system we got our ESB here so three prong element that we use in our ES2 guitars onboard tuner really happy about this we partnered up with Diodario they do a nice nylon core string that are specially made for this bass so nice see now now you're not the only person that has debuted something for 2017 saying hey look at how compact it is how how uh, condensed for travel is yeah. do you think they're industry wide not just in your company but do you think that it might be happening where people are trying to downsize and really do more practical uh, purchasing with their gear? Yeah, I think as people are you know, moving around more frequently and more often with their jobs and their daily lives, it's good to have something that you can take around with you that's comfortable, that's easy to play, that's also going to give you a great bang for your buck. So I think the whole industry is kind of falling in that fashion of people's lifestyle. Absolutely. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Nice big sound. Really stoked about this. Not only just for bass players to have a nice small bass they can walk around with, but also for guitar players too that want something a little bit, a little bit small for them to take as well. So, yeah, really stoked about this one. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So the next one I want to show you is our Academy series. Now this guitar here is something we made in a nice lower price point. You can see we've done something really interesting. Normally in our higher end series, like a 900 series or so, we do a standard armrest. Well, we also introduced that to the Academy series. Interesting. Yeah, so nice and small, nice and compact, really easy to get around, nice and comfortable for a starter, for a beginner player that's wanting something that's really gonna play good, like all tailors do. We have this feature that's added on as well. Same same situation with the GS Mini Bass. We have our ES2 element with our with our ESB pickup. So onboard tuner, really, really happy about these. They play great, sound fantastic. So for somebody in that price point that's really getting into you know guitar and wanting something that's gonna play good, sound great, we're really stoked about well, these ones. You know, I, mean, I mean, I gotta say, one of, the, one of the more interesting components to the whole musical career, if you're watching this show about music right now, if you're a player, if you work with the company, you all, everybody remembers when they got started. Yeah. But then the question is, what did you get started with? Was it a total piece of junk? Was it something from a eh brand and it made overseas, or something from a great brand made overseas? Is it, you know, and, and it kind of matters. It, it, like, like any craftsman, it depends what's in the tool shed. It's Absolutely. it's hard to do things if, if your equipment is dull. Yes. You know. So what is the price point on both of these again? So price point, uh, street price was around six ninety nine for the GS Mini Bass, and then the Academy Series starting we have starting out with a dreadnought, and then we have also a dreadnought option which is an A ten and an A ten E which is with the pickup element, uh, starting around four ninety nine on up moving through that. So we do those in we do those in the Grand Concert body shape, and we're going to do those in the dreadnought as well. So four ninety nine. Right. How can you beat that? Especially from Taylor. You know, you guys aren't going to put your name on it if it's yeah. junk. Full NT neck, everything, same playability, same serviceability like we offer with all our models. So all the customers are going to be really happy with picking up these guitars. Very cool. Okay, now this is where I'm going to kind of totally mess everything up, and we're going to swing over through here. Yeah, let's swing on through. Yeah, I wanted to see this side. Um, if, if just off the top of my head, if it reminds me of anything, it's looking a little bit like an ovation. I know the back is totally different, whatever, but I, I get that vibe just from quickly glancing at it. What are we looking at here? What is this? So this is a T5Z Pro Denim. So unlike, you know, most color schemes that you've seen throughout, this one's really, really nice. It kind of reminds you of those warm, you know, jeans that you've had worn through a few times through the wash. But this thing's gorgeous. I mean, the depth that it has with this maple top is just fantastic. So we do our, you know, T5Z Pros in, you know, we do them in maple tops, we do them in koa tops. So there's a bunch of different options, a bunch of different color schemes that you know consumers can get into and, and find the one that's right for them. It's you know, it's stunning. Playability. So it's a killer guitar. You know, so, you, so you got the light blues on top and then you got the deep blues, the yeah. indigos and stuff in the back. Absolutely, you got that really nice deep indigo color in the back. 
nice gonna, gonna hide a little bit of those pick wear and the, the buckle marks for all you guys that are playing consistently. So you were really stoked about this. We introduced oh, the T5Z body shape a while back, so it's a little bit smaller. So it's for those guys that kind of like a Les Paul kind of feel. You know, this is going to be the right guitar for them. All right, and show me, show me these controls here. That looks pretty cool. Right, so we have a we have a five-way switch here, and what this does is it gives a bunch of versatility for the player, and he can go through and have actually a true acoustic tone pickup in the front. So it's very versatile, and as you pull through each you know each knob, you're gonna have different stacks. So you're gonna have one that's gonna be more of a stacked humbucker kind of sound. You're gonna have one that's more kind of a jazz box, and then like I said, you know we also do in the top section where we have that true acoustic tone. So the player or the, or the performer that's out there doesn't have to switch through a bunch of guitars. You know, a simple AB box, an acoustic amp, an electric amp. It's gonna work out great for that that player that's playing you know five nights a week. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I, I definitely like that. We could just take a quick look at the rest of these over here on the wall. Um, similar to that one, just kind of different. Absolutely. So something that's also new for this year, too, if we're looking at this guy here, this is our T5Z Classic with our satin finish mahogany top. Well, now we're doing a deluxe version of that. So if we pan over to this guy here, we now have the all-gloss body, nice little shaded edge burst top comes with a deluxe hard shell case so you get a little bit more bump a little bit more little class to it kind of dials it up a little bit so that one is going to be a nice value for that t5z player that wants it a little bit a little bit more flashy yeah see, see that one strikes me if, if you're rocking a les paul you just got like this thick hunk of wood this heavy like that one strikes me as like having that that one absolutely had a different vibe to it but totally, yeah. maybe it's a color who knows absolutely everybody's got a taste right absolutely well let's let's get back to kind of the original pattern we had here starting at this side what else did you want to show us so we got a couple others i want to take you guys over here i want to take a look at our uh, our deluxe 800 series all right as you know a couple years ago we redesigned the uh the 800 series model andy powers redesigned it it's been fantastic so we decided to do a deluxe version of that Moving it around. Yeah. <laughs> so cool part about this is now it's a little bit different. We got a nice little radius um, armrest to this guy. So it's a little bit different than what we've done in the past. It's get a little different feel than other guitars that we've had. Um, this one comes a little bit bumped up more with uh, some Adirondack bracing. So it offers that little bit higher threshold of volume. It's going to be a lot more horsepower underneath the hood. So we got that guy here along with the armrest. We're really, really happy with these. And then you got your Chrome Godos on there as well. So a little bit more push from that 800 series that everybody knows and loves that's been an industry standard. Nice. Yeah, so we're really happy about these. We do them in you know, all different body shapes and all five of our body shapes. It's a really great. I'm, notice, I'm noticing a trend that, you know, the, the, the beveled sides, that seems to kind of be a theme that I'm witnessing. Is this, is this something moving forward that the company's just probably gonna keep doing that because it's maybe a superior design or it's just for certain models? What do you think? You know, I think it's gonna be more for a certain model thing. I don't think there's a silver bullet for everything. You know, for this one in particular, it just offers a little bit extra for that guitar player and offers a little bit more comfort for somebody to get their arm around, especially when you're working with like a dreadnought or like our grand orchestra body shape that's a little bit larger. It's gonna give that little extra lean for somebody that may not be um, uh, as lanky as me. So, lanky. Yeah. I don't know what lanky is. I'm yeah. sorry. I just don't. How about gangly? You know? <laughs> Whatever works. Totally. So, yeah, we're really, really happy about these. Um, another one we have here is we're doing a nylon series a 114, uh, 114 CEN, which is great. So, for you know a player that wants to really get into a nice tailor nylon it's going to be in a nice price point for them as well with the emity headstock overlay really really happy with these guitars uh, we got a layered koa back and sides here so it looks really really great so we're doing those guys as well I actually, I actually really like i really like that natural you know sometimes they put so much lacquer and so much paint yeah. you, you kind of lose track of the beauty of just some stained wood. I mean, Taylor's obviously known as some of the best, yeah. you know, for, for, for doing different colors, different stains, different styles. Um, but yeah, I really think a lot of companies overdo it and just the simplicity of the raw grain on the back there, it, look, it looks great. Absolutely, and in addition to that, as we move forward in our new 100 series, where we've done a few little extras, we're now doing these in walnut. So we have a layered walnut back and sides, and these are just, absolutely gorgeous to have that nice satin stain to show all that nice beautiful variegation of the wood 
it's a really really nice you know aesthetic appealing thing for the for the consumer looks great sounds great as we all know walnut's been a really great wood to work with sustainably so we're really really happy with the 100 series moving to walnut back in size okay well, well give me a comment about the sustainably part i know that that was almost like a throwaway line there as we're just talking about cool gear but it's not a throwaway line i think it's really important um who was it who was it that got busted for having the wrong kind was that gibson Gibson got busted for having the wrong kind of wood that didn't clear the right sort of, you know, for the harvesting, whatever the case may be. Talk about the sustainability of walnut, because uh, it is an important thing to consider when you're purchasing a product. Absolutely. I mean, especially here with Taylor, you know, we're really big on keeping everything legal. You know, we want to have, we want to be able to produce and have wood for not only our generation of people making and producing guitars, but we want our kids, 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 kids to do the same thing, you know? So we're really avid about having that become a very important facet to our company. And so we've, we've done a really great job with, you know, finding- Such a good job, it walked away. It's, it's gone, yeah. That's how great they are. It's all of a sudden they're gone, you know? But no, we've done a really great job with, uh, with the people that we work with around the world on getting everything that we can legally and responsibly. And so we're really big advocates about that and we're very, very proud of that as well. I, I gotta say just, it's, for, for me it's important, you know, we vote, for, we vote with our dollars. You know, sometimes you feel powerless in politics and all that, that nonsense, but when you drop a thousand bucks on a piece of gear, think about where you're putting it you know it's important to find out is this slave labor from a third third you know third world country or is this something you, know, you, you, you take it all into consideration and if and if walnut and you guys are doing it the right way and you're harvesting and replanting you know and taking care of the, the planet in the process I don't know anybody that's gonna have a problem with that yeah. I mean we all want to have guitars be accessible for many 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 generations to come you know, so we're very happy with the way we do those kind of things, and it's good to be uh, conscious of where uh, where materials materials are coming from. Absolutely. Well, um, what else did you want to show us for 2017? I don't know what else you wanted here. Got a, let's. I want to show you the couple other body shapes of the of the Academy series while we got it. Let's take a look over here. So, as I mentioned earlier, we have the A10. Okay, so we have a layered sapelli back and sides with a solid spruce top. Uh, so we're doing those in the regular acoustic version then we also have one that has the electronics built on with the ESB and the onboard tuner so we're doing those um, we are also doing an a12 nylon so we're even bringing down you know nylon series even into a much more affordable uh, price point as well so we have those as well all what, 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 what are they what are they list for uh, list or street price, price. Uh, street price is a it's around around four ninety nine. They're based around four ninety nine on up, depending on half a thousand, give or take. Ab absolutely. Yeah. No, 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 no. Trust me, I don't need the exact yeah. to the penny. It's just yeah. like for reference point because it's like because it's tens four ninety nine street price. Right. Yeah, because I mean, trust me, you're gonna find many thousands of dollars. You know, you can find tailors that are incredibly pricey because you're going to find incredibly well-built guitars so you you want to find a company at least i do you know i, I don't know you guys didn't endorse me you haven't yeah. given me a damn thing <laughs> um but but as far as i'm concerned when you when you get gear my, my father always taught me get something from a really well-known brand and it will always appreciate in value if you don't screw it up Absolutely. you know if you don't mess it up if you don't break it good gear will always be a good investment and i'll tell you what my entire life guitars drums everything across the board he's been right you know so you can go to some of these knockoff brands and knockoff companies and get some for a hundred bucks two hundred bucks three hundred bucks but would you rather spend five hundred on something that might last or do you want something that's just gonna get thrown out once again the sustainability of quality I think that trumps out but anyway like I said they're not paying me anything so I'm gonna stop endorsing them at this point <laughs> no it's all good you hit, hit the nail on the head so we got a couple other body shapes. Here's another dreadnought here. Um, there's another nylon string, obviously there. Um, we have the steel string version here. So we have an A12. This one's an A12E. So that's a grand concert style body shape with the armrest as well. So we are offering them in a couple different shapes. So if somebody may want a little bit more smaller body, they're a little bit more finger style player, the smaller body is going to suit them a little bit better. Big, bold, strummer kind of person, want to play a lot of chords. The Dreadnought A10 is going to work really great for them. So we offer them in a few different facets for them to really kind of embrace. We'll have something for them. Very cool. Yeah, Very so cool. We're stoked about this year. It's going to be a great time, especially covering with uh, you know lower end stuff for the affordable player, and then also with the uh, with the base edition as well.
Very cool. Well, good stuff. Absolutely. John, thank you so much for so taking much. a few Appreciate minutes here. And uh, check out Taylor if you want to get some good gear. I, I don't know a single person that owns a Taylor that doesn't recommend or like it. So, I mean, that, that, that goes a long way. Okay, it's absolutely. the word of mouth. That, that, that's a huge component for anything in the social media age. Absolutely. John, thanks again, man. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.